Happy Solemnity of the Most Sacred Heart of Jesus. In today's gospel, we read a very familiar scene that I'm sure many of us know, we can visualize, we can picture it in our heads, right? Where Christ is crucified and he dies on a cross. And then seeing that he's already dead, they pierce his heart and blood and water flow out. And then in Ephesians, we hear St. Paul basically pray that we might come to know Christ and his love for us. And later in that same verse from today, we see uh, St. Paul mention the height, the depth, the length. This speaks to the unconditional, never-ending, limitless love of God for us. And that's what the Sacred Heart is all about. Jesus Christ loves us unconditionally. And St. John Paul II said that in the divine heart beats God's infinite unconditional love for everyone for each one of us individually each one of us individually i love what saint john paul ii says there right because it isn't just that god loves the world as a whole which is true he does but he loves each of us you and me individually which means that god sees you he knows you and he loves you, and he calls you to himself this day. So as we meditate and reflect on the sacred heart of Christ, the invitation is for us to, know whatever we are, right, wherever we are, to give him everything, right? To come to him, uh, even if we're broken, we're scared, we're confused, we're alone, we have doubts, insecurities, because he told St. Margaret Mary that his heart and that through his heart, sinners find the infinite ocean of mercy. The infinite ocean of mercy. And Jesus promised, right, St. Margaret Mary, that he would console those who are troubled and pray for those families and bring joy. And that's what the Sacred Heart, that's what Jesus' love wants to do for you and for me this day. So as we meditate and reflect on these words, let us have hope and trust that God is good and he loves us and he sees us and he knows us, not just as somewhere out here, but individually unique and wonderfully made. What a beautiful gift we have this day. I leave you with this, the words of St. Paul in Ephesians, he prays, that we might know the love of Christ, which surpasses all knowledge, so that we might be filled and find fullness with God. Sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Remember that you are loved. God bless you.